After the 2020 census data is collected, 10 states are projected to lose congressional districts. California set to lose at least one seat for the first time in history, and Texas is expected to gain three. KETK's Washington correspondent Anna Warnicke explains what this means for our nation's future political landscape. We are a very mobile society. Hans von Spakovsky with the Conservative Heritage Foundation says Americans are packing up and moving south. People are leaving states like California, New Jersey that are high tax, high regulatory, and they're moving to places like Texas and Florida um, because the cost of living is cheaper and, for example, both those states have no income tax. According to the Census Bureau, 40 percent of the U.S. population resides in the southern region of the country, which will have a direct impact on how certain states are represented here in Washington. Mary Jo Hooksema with the Census Project Coalition says states like Texas, Florida and North Carolina are each projected to gain one or more congressional seats after the 2020 census. Others are potentially going to lose seats, um, such as Illinois, Michigan, Minnesota. States that lose a member of Congress will also lose a share of the Electoral College. It's a loss of power, it's a, which translates to a loss of funding. You may not get the share of certain federal programs that you may have gotten before because you just don't have uh, as big of a population. And Von Spakovsky says states are pouring millions of dollars to try to prevent that from happening. A number of states, California being one of them, uh, are spending a great deal of state budget money to make sure that people participate in the census. The census officially kicks off on April 1st. In Washington, Anna Warnicke, KETK News.